Welcome to this episode of Battle of the Games. And today we have my number three, Tapestry. By, Tapestry. By Stonemaier Games. Um, Tapestry is a civilization game in which it's very simple. <laughs> <Is> it? <laughs> and on your turn, you are either, you're doing one of two things. You are collecting income or you are advancing on a track of civilization. There's exploration, there's arts, there's the military track, the science track, there's the technology track. Those are all five. I got them all without even looking. Look at you. Impressive. But yeah, you it's pick like one of those tracks to advance, it. you gain the benefit. That's it. That's your turn, right? Or you do an income, which has some other stuff that you do. You have a whole bunch of asymmetrical civilizations. Uh, or f- Are they civs or factions? Civs. Civilizations. Civilizations that do a bunch of different stuff. It's really cool, in my opinion, the amount of variety that you have in any given game, especially if you're playing with like four or five players, because not only are you getting something that you most likely have never played before, unless you play this game 40 times, but then you have a combination of people. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's not what we're doing right now. A civilization game, and we're going to rate it here today. <laughs> and Kev will go first. All right. Um, so this is my this is the second time I've played this game. Um, and it's a good game. Um, the thing that surprises me most about it is both times that I've played, um, didn't really have like a really like concrete strategy going out. Like basically it was pick a track and try to get the landmarks, the special buildings from that one before other people could. And I still couldn't even do that because Dwayne beat me to one of the landmarks um ended up not mattering uh in the end but um (laughs) (laughs) i won um did you i did um but so it's a mixed bag so i like i appreciate the fact that there are a lot of different ways to win there's a lot of things you can do you can get set back you could have some of your stuff kind of not work out the way you think it's going to work out Um, but you can still be really competitive. You can still be successful. Um, the part that I probably don't like, which I think you've kind of alluded to the fact that you really like is, is the significant amount of randomness from game to game. Um, as far as like, cause you get a, you get your, your civilization and then you get your capital city, uh, and you get the pick from four of each or no four four sieve tiles and two i just do that oh that's just you yeah i'm pretty sure you get two i think you get two i know you get two of the um capital cities you get two sieves and then you get a random capital city and you're supposed to get a normal one dealt with you so you have a location that you're also dealt i lied you get two of the upgraded capitals as well but you also get dealt a normal location so you're supposed to so that you Nowhere essentially are dealt a location to start. Oh. We, I've always just played, you just play where you're closest to because it makes the most sense. Sure. And a four-player game, it was able to be balanced equally with yeah. where we were. The The issue with, with that is like, so if you're, especially if you're not modding the game to a certain extent where you can kind of create synergies, um, you... Some people can create really good synergies between their sieve and their their capital. And some people, because there are actually so many options, especially if you have all the content, you can be dealt four and two and still be like, none of these really match. Um, so I almost wonder if, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if giving people more choices is better or giving them less choices. So there's more like you can't necessarily match up your synergy as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure how that, you know, which would be better or worse. Um, The tapestry cards themselves um, can be not necessarily like super swingy, um, but they do have a pretty big impact. And there's obviously a lot of randomness in there. I was able to um, change the dynamic of the game pretty significantly by a single card that I had that allowed me to change the combat situation I had with Dwayne. (laughs) He's not happy about it. Um, (laughs) But so... It's fun. It's interesting. It definitely keeps. It's going to make every game interesting, right? No two games are going to look the same, 
So there's value in that, um, but it also can be frustrating if you feel like you don't really have um, an advantage like maybe the other players do. Um, so good game. Enjoy the mechanics. I won't. I could probably talk more about it, but I'll let everyone else chat. Um, so uh, for me, I think it's probably like a 7.5. I think it could be an 8. Um, with a little bit more familiarity. Um, but there's just, I don't necessarily like the, 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 the potential for having like feeling like you're down and out. And unfortunately, like you just don't know until the end of the game. Like I had no idea that I was going to do be competitive until the end of the game. Cause I scored like 120 something points yeah, out of the, the final whatever. income, whatever. And that's a lot. And it's hard to anticipate how that's going to go. Um, so I don't know. I think maybe like, the reason I think it'd be eight in time is because you just know that, right? So you're like, well, I, I, I'm not out. I still have a chance. So 7.5, probably an eight with a couple more plays, which I'd be happy to play this. So, yeah. All right, Daniel. Tapestry, super sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the beginning of a freestyle. <laughs> super sick. Yeah, I really like it. I like the, uh, there's so many uh, civilizations, and I like that about it a lot. Like every every civilization, every, every civilization that I see <laughs> is just cool. Like I like the idea of it. It's like, oh, that's cool. Like the Ooh. werewolf people. Yeah. That was super sick. <laughs> Some of them are like. Fucking on a, I just grab a tile and flip it. Hell <laughs> yeah, that's badass. Um I also just like how, okay, I spend resources, I move okay. up a track, and then I get something. That's it. That's all. Um, it's huge though. It is huge. It's a big old game, but it doesn't look. It doesn't feel like it's like a giant game. You know? Why you know what are you I mean? being so cute right now? <laughs> I like this game, and it's it's really it's. I like the look of it. I like the theme. I like the gameplay. Um, the randomness of it, I like it a lot. Like you, you, you never know what you're gonna get. You don't know. I don't know the city that I'm gonna get. I don't know the civilization that I'm gonna get. Um, you and just then have like to deal with that even for on, four hours, even on one of the tracks, you, you get can, a, you can get a whole new one. Yeah, you, you can get have a whole new one. You can have a strategy in mind, and then you get your sieve and Matt, and you're like, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I usually um, just sorry. Go ahead. I'll let you go. But I also like what what you said, how you didn't know you were going to come back, and you just did. So it's like, you're not totally out of it. Um, I was totally out of it. Well, you said that. <laughs> one, one of us was totally out of it. <laughs> I like having the little buildings and building my own little, little side city over here. Um, but yeah, Tapestry is super cool, and I like it a lot. And I've played I it like a couple it. times. I like it a lot. Um, I gave it a nine. Dang. I will never not say no to playing this. Never not say no. I will never. Right never say no. Right now. I will never say Play no. Right right now. Run it back. This. Right now. Ark Nova? <laughs> <laughs> I will never say no to playing Tapestry. Nine one, out of ten. One, once a day. <laughs> I like it a lot. Super dope. Super cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Kenzie Bobenzi. All right. So one thing I wanted to mention is familiarity is huge with this game. Kind of like you said, um, I could see before you were going to take your last action that you were going to be a big competitor. I mean, I said it. Mm -hmm. um, it. It just gets to the point where if you play so many times, it's kind of by the last few turns, you're like, okay. It's kind of obvious who's going to win. You can see, like, based on last scoring income and where people are, it's, you can just kind of see what's going on and how things are comboing. Um, and then you also know sometimes that things are just not going great. For example, my game. It was just not fantastic. And I knew that very early on. So it wasn't super enjoyable. Um, but I like the way that this game plays. Um, I like everything that it has going on. I like that it's got 
the main board. It's got your board where you're moving resources up and then using them. But it's and it's also like just constantly moving. It's not a like. I don't know how to explain it. There's feeling of progression. Yes. You're just always doing something. Um, and then I also really like your little capital city. I think that it's so cool that they ended up adding abilities to that instead of it just being a city. I think that addition, I don't know when they added that, what what expansion that was, because we have all of them. But that was probably one of the best expansions that they had for this game. I think that was... I think it's Plans and Employees. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. That is a good caveat. We did play this with everything. everything. Every mm-hmm. single expansion. So yeah. if you were to play this game without all of that, it your might be experiences different. may vary. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's probably one of my favorite things about it. Um, and like Kevin said, it kind of it can hurt you a little bit with the way your sieve and your mat work together. Um, mine did not work very well together. It didn't do anything. Um, And sometimes you just get really lucky and you get two that work really well together. I got a sieve that would have worked really well with Dwayne's mat and given him a ton of points at the end. Um, But that's just kind of how it works out. Um, But all in all, I really like this game. I don't like how long it is. Sebastian is huge for big games. Because you almost play 10 minute, 15 minute games. That is not true. It's also very much a player number thing. Uh, And also experience too. Right. So how many times were we like having to ask, at least I was asking like, Hey, what does this symbol mean? What does that symbol mean? Hey, let me double check this. Let me look at this. So familiarity obviously is a, is a not insignificant factor. And then just understanding the strategy and like how those different things interact and like, all right, when did these things make sense? When should I do this versus when should I do that? Those types of things. I mean, just, I mean, like there's a reason why you guys can play Ark Nova in in an hour and a half now. (laughs) Because you know it really well, right? So, what's Ark Nova? The question is: is like, is a game like Tapestry one that you care enough about to play <laughs> to gain the regularity, like the frequency and the familiarity to be like, hey, yep, I can play this. We can play it in two hours with four players because everybody kind of gets it. And there's enough randomness. I think that might be I think it might be viable. Like, I think you're never going to play this game and have it twice look the same. So never. The, and pre- also, the number of permutations, crazy probably. Just yeah. the way things play out, your strategy is never going to be the same in the beginning and the end, um, which is kind of nice, but I really like to plan out. I'm a big planner, so it's kind of annoying. As well. All in total. Are you Damn. kidding me right now? Damn. In total, I'd probably give it an eight. Okay. I will take all of those ratings from them. That was really good. Tapestry is one of my favorite games. I have... Loved it since I got the base game from Stonemeyer however many years ago when it was just the initial number of civilizations and all of the normal capital city mats. Loved it. The fact that we have... <clears throat> get emotional, sorry. <laughs> the, fact, the fact that we have every single expansion that, while yes, there are corrections made that may nerf some of the factions that sorry factions civilizations that were admittedly very strong they are nerfed but for the most part all the expansions just add to the game in ways that to me are meaningful like even the plans employees one of the very simple additions from i think i'm pretty sure it's that expansion is that everyone gets a starting landmark building that you have a a an objective to go for from the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is. It's one of them. But that one where you have an objective to go for from the beginning of the game that will get you a unique landmark that no one else has access to. So even if you lose a race for other landmarks, you will. that's something that cannot get taken away from you. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And it all fits in this box because they came out with an organizer that puts every single thing that came with every single thing in yes. this box. That's pretty impressive. It's the folded space organizer that holds from the every single thing except from the the, the custom play mat, yeah. Does the original game board fit in there? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The I I really can't emphasize enough that the the different like your experience if you're playing the baseboard game is probably gonna be a lot different. Like I only own the yes. base and I'm a little bit leery about playing it because 
I, you know, like you just mentioned the having your um, your dedicated landmark. Mm-hmm. That's that feels like huge to me, like not being a part of the regular game because I only got two off of the board. Yeah. And if you're only getting two off the board, not having access to that third one, it'd be really sad. Now, I also never do a tapestry card that had them either because I know there are tapestry cards that you can do. They can build on. Um, Technology. There are tapestry cards. Oh, tech cards that you get buildings from. Yeah. Tech cards. Those are tech cards? Yes. Oh, okay. I guess I never saw any of those. Or you must, were you top I took the only one. No, there was one out and I took it. Oh, and okay. that's the only one that ever came out out yeah. of like a number of them. I thought you had a couple. No, just the one. Oh, okay. The yeah. little pumpkin building. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that the only one that might not be like a critical part for this that has made the gameplay better is Futures and Fantasies. Because all that did was add more civilizations. No, I liked oh. it a lot. Yes, it's good, but it's not like... If you were going to skip one, you could skip that. Because isn't didn't they just release a new pack recently? That was Futures and Fantasies. Oh, that was, was what that was? It was pretty much just Futures, a new Fantasies pack and revisions. for new okay. civilizations and with new the maps. revisions. Okay. Huh? It, was new, it was new city mats, too. Okay, you're right. And some new city mats. More but variety in a game with arts and a architecture, shit ton of variety. That's what added the arts track. Yeah, that makes sense. Huge part. Can I finish my review? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> So I wasn't the first one. Other to big thing that I liked. True. Other big things that I liked. Hey, hold on. I'm gonna let you finish. Other big things that I liked. <laughs> the arts track, right? Not that the other four were missing anything, but the addition of the arts track and that it it was kind of a catch all for. I don't necessarily have the specific resource that I need to move up this track plus whatever other resource to make this worth it. I can do the arts track. That it's all just. Any resource in different combinations sometimes has to be different. Sometimes diff- uh, you need three. Sometimes has to be same. Fine, right? But it's all whatever resource you want. And the benefits are, in my opinion, very much general benefits like gain a house, gain a masterpiece card that gives you extra income stuff. Very cool. Gain the inspire tokens that make your income tiles, or not your income tiles, but your income building sections, it upgrades them. So you get more points in sometimes in different ways because it will mix some of the categories sometimes. What were you going to say? I was going to say, and when it's like houses, it's any house that you want. So it lets you focus on not just one specific track by going up one of the other ones. It gives you any any one that you want. For the income buildings, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that if you can't make it to the end of a track to get most of the buildings from that track you have another avenue to do that while still upgrading other parts of your game as well fantasies and futures i think was a great addition i think um so a lot of the not a lot but there are civ mats in the game the city mats sorry where you place your buildings your income buildings that are different they have abilities that are slightly different or from each other, but the base ones don't have any abilities. Fantasies and Futures added more that have more stuff, like the the cloud, the cloud city. Like yeah, that's a fantasy some them, one. Some of them came. Yep. The troll. I'm just I'm just saying that like some that was also some additions anyway. A lot of the factions from Fantasy Fantasies and Futures very cool, and when they Futures and Fantasies when they you know. As advertised, there are a lot of fantastical type of civilizations the like wee folk. the were folk, the wee folk, the fey folk, the merfolk, the Illuminati, which they're totally real, but they're in there too. Very cool. I, I this game never feels long to me. Like we just played, and it was probably three hours long. I was just enjoying it and just waiting for which my really turn. Which really wasn't bad. I was just waiting for my turn every time because I was like, I'm so excited to do this and see what it does for me. <laughs> to be fair. I did have I did have a sieve that was like working for me. I got in my options, I got one that will I lost my train of thought. I mean, you got to use your ability almost every single turn, both pieces of it. And even if it didn't get used, you still got points for it. Um you didn't have to do any thinking. It was yep. literally driven by something that everyone else did versus And give. Right? Here you go. Like Ken's and I had ones where like you she would have to make choices about, about like, I'm going to let this one go. I'm not going to use this action. 
so I can use my board action. And there's some utility there because you're like, well, I don't care about, maybe I'm not going up on the tech track, but I, I want this, whatever. Um, mine, I had to like manage the number of tapestry cards that I had in my hand to, to figure out when I was going to have, how many I was going to have in my hand to determine which one of these things I was going to land on. And I got, I was able to manage it pretty well for a couple of them, but then there were other ones where you're just like, well, I can't really mitigate this. I can't get more in my hand. I can't really shed them from my hand. I'm just kind of stuck. So that was a bit, eh, you know. I would not have liked your sieve. I had the Illuminati. All three of the dice that are in the board, the science die and the two conquest die, they go on the mat. Whenever someone needs to do one of those actions, they take the die from your mat, they roll them, and you get the benefit. The conquest die, you actually get both benefits. Very cool. During your income turn, all the die come back to your board, and if they weren't taken, you get points anyway. I thought it was awesome. And it was. I thought it was really cool. But anyways, that's the end of pretty much me just talking about the game. <laughs> And this game for me is a 10 because I love it. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Um, Number you three game. Fireworks. Without <laughs> the expansion, I, I'd even give it a nine. With all the the expansion, without all of the expansions, I'd still give it a nine. With all the expansions, definitely a 10 for me. But anyways, <laughs> that's all of our collective rating for Tapestry, which is my Tapestry. number three again. And you will see us soon and this game again. <laughs> 